And as we mentioned, COVID cases are rising. Vaccination is lagging in certain parts of the city. That includes Garfield Ridge. The southwest side community has got a growing Latino population. More than half the neighborhood's residents are Latino. It's also a community that many first responders call home and an area that includes Midway Airport. Our Amanda Vinicky and producer Marissa Nelson spent the day there for the latest in our Chicago Tonight in Your Neighborhood series. And Amanda joins us now. Amanda, what do you have? Paris, I want to actually start the introduction to Garfield Ridge with somebody that we met after he was randomly walking down the street. Walter Gowell had just paid a visit to a Chicago classic Weber's Bakery where he bought Kolachki and Apple turnover and he is has been here for a long time. His parents bought a house in Garfield Ridge in 55 and he's pretty much lived in that very home ever since. He remembers when the house was one of only three on the block, when some of his neighbors were farmers, and when cows, as in the actual animal, not the cows on parade statues, were a common thing to be seen walking down the street. With the Grand Trunk Railroad, we, they used to ship in the cattle for the back of the yards, and when they used to break out of the trains, they used the cows used to come through the neighborhood, and they'd come back on horseback to try to round them up. Now, Gowell likes his neighborhood, his neighbors, but he's not exactly thrilled with. He says some recent changes, graffiti, cars speeding. Garfield Ridge does have an active neighborhood watch. I'll catch it. Tolo started it about 10 years ago. We still have people that go out certain evenings, certain afternoons, and they ride their bike. They might walk. They might drive their car. And they're just being the eyes and the ears for the police. Now, a lot of police do live in Garfield Ridge, but crime really not rampant here. Ketchatolo says living in Garfield Ridge is like living in the suburbs. Another member of the watch, Yanya Taylor, has family ties to the community, but she chose to live here in part because of its location, close to I-55, and also because she says she likes living in the city without living in the thick of it. Now, if there is an incident, she says that the watch is really careful to verify that this isn't hearsay. The they check details with police and with any victims before posting anything on the watch's active social media. But while the watch began and was about initially keeping the neighborhood safe, that's no longer its focus. Over the years, it's grown into more of a community organization. So we've gone from patrolling on the streets to holding large events. So we do two um, community yard sales a month or a year. We do events like the car show, which we've taken over. Um, we do uh, a Christmas, a huge, huge, huge Christmas event here at Wentworth Park. She tells us that Santa makes an appearance and goes through many streets visiting lots of neighbors. So moving on to one of those streets, Archer Avenue is a main artery through Garfield Ridge, and that is where we met the president of the Chamber of Commerce, who says that the chamber is here to support the multi-generational businesses that have thrived, made it through a recession and a pandemic, as well as new ones popping up. She says, however, that COVID has, of course, been hard. There is the cost of PPE having to close and now staff shortages. They say that there's all these grants out there that are available, but I have a lot more businesses on Archer Avenue who say that they have applied, they have applied, and they have not received any grant money whatsoever. And most businesses here on the southwest side and, and anywhere, they're not looking for a handout. We just want to conduct business um, the way we've always been taught, be good, provide a good service, provide a good product, be fair, treat people fairly, and we expect the same in return. Now, speaking of COVID, the rate of the coronavirus in the 60638 zip code is 5.7% and 49% of residents, according to city data, in that zip code are fully vaccinated. Now, in contrast, there's a 4.2% positivity rate in all of Chicago, and nearly 55% are vaccinated citywide. Dr. Eunice Kim is a family physician whose clinic is in Garfield Ridge, and she is working to bring that rate of vaccination up. Parents Parents and youth over the age of 12 who are coming in to get their back to school physicals, she is ready to give them that shot. I just want to stress that 
We are here for our patients um, in this Garfield Ridge community. Um, so whenever they decide for themselves to protect themselves and their families and friends, we are here uh, to support their decision. Um, and if they have any questions, we're here to answer for that too. Um, in terms of the vaccines, it is highly effective against the new Delta variant too, above 90%. I mean, when I was back in school, above 90% is A. Garfield Ridge based Beat the Streets is also looking out for Chicago's youth. The organization takes boys and girls age five through high school to the mat, the wrestling mat. Wrestling is probably the best fit because life is difficult. Wrestling's hard. Um, it's not easy when you first get into wrestling, you're going to get your butt kicked <laughs> and you're going to take a lot of beatings. But through perseverance, hard work, dedication, uh, learning how to fine tune your craft, slowly and surely you get better. Dixon says Beat the Streets is about helping to develop children off the mat as well. So yes, there is a weight room and obviously the mats, but this is also a program that offers tutoring, literacy help and life coaching. And they've got this brand new place to do it. $2 million of renovations toward this building that just opened in June as Beat the Streets headquarters. Now next month, Beat the Streets starts its new fall program. You can register on its website. And we of course want to say thank you to Beat the Streets for taking us off the streets this evening with some storms in the forecast. Now we'll be back later with Garfield Ridge resident and also the local older woman, Sylvana Tabaris. But for now, sending it back to you in the studio. I'm sure a lot cooler and drier in there, Amanda. Thanks so much.